Uh, Emma Hayes has spoken to the media for the first time since her hysterectomy more than a month ago. She's celebrating 10 years at the helm as Chelsea play Tottenham at a sold-out Stamford Bridge on Sunday. Here she is. First question, how are you? Yeah, I, I feel it's nice to, to be back. Um, I've had six weeks of recovering and still recovering. I still think it will take probably through the rest of this year to return to complete normality. Um, but no, I'm just grateful to feel a lot better and happy to come into a team that's been doing really well in my absence and, you know, just to be around the, the players and the staff again. I know a lot of managers speak about when you're in the touchline and you're powerless to affect what's going on out in the field, it's really difficult. When you're sitting at home with your feet up recovering, you're even more powerless. It's probably magnified by about 10 times. Do you know what? I didn't mind it. I was, <laughs> everybody thinks I had an earpiece with Denise and only in the Man United game did it stop working in the second half. But I was like, I was happy with the way the team was playing. And I feel so confident with uh, the work my entire staff team are doing that Sometimes those conversations are just interactions between Denise and I that she's done a superb job anyway without me being there along with Paul. And as I said, Paul said it many times, you've got such an experienced group, it's been comfortable for me to heal without the stresses. Hell of a game to come back for as well. London Derby at Stamford Bridge. You know, your 10th anniversary obviously this year at the club. I mean, it's one not to miss. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's certainly telling my doctors my first game back was in front of 40,000. They, they were like, really? I said, yeah, I'm about ready for that. And, uh, you know, it was, I think the club have done so well to be able to sell out, um, as many clubs have done in the WSL. And just really looking forward to seeing the, the fans and get the chance, importantly, to be with my team again. And no, no, no better place to play than Stamford Bridge. Since that defeat in the opening day of the season, is it eight wins in a row in all competitions? But it is just relentless, the WSL, with the pace that Arsenal set as well. It feels like any drop points and you're playing catch-up, you need to win every game, it feels like. I think it's been like that ever since I've been here, so I don't apportion any more um, expectation to it now than I did prior to that. I think the clichés that coaches put in front around it being one game at a time is merely because you don't actually have a lot of time between games that you can only focus on the next game. I didn't even know we'd played eight games uh, in that time. Do you know what I mean? It's, you have to shift quite quickly in this business.